Uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel LCP, Independent News, uh, Jerusalem, Israel. As you know, the current news that were coming out of Israel as of uh, last week, uh, you know that we had the uh, terror attack against uh, Israel and uh, the uh, so-called terrorists came out of Egypt and they crossed the Egyptian uh, side and they uh, actually came in uh, to attack uh, Israeli civilians. As you know, uh, eight uh, Israelis uh, uh, were killed uh, by uh, terrorists uh, that infiltrated the uh, Egyptian side of the border and uh, they managed to uh, try and get back to the uh, other side of the Egyptian border and the IDF uh, uh, apprehended, uh, actually they went into a battle uh, with these uh, terrorists which were actually uh, armed to the tooth. Uh, they came to, to destroy anything that does with uh, Jewish uh, Israeli uh, lives. Uh, so uh, as I say this, uh, Hamas uh, and uh, the uh, terrorists that are coming out of Gaza, uh, they have continued uh, to fire or rain down rockets on the Israeli uh, population since last week, last Thursday. And that has been over a week uh, that uh, the uh, Islamic Jihad uh, and Hamas uh, terrorists in, uh, in the Gaza Strip uh, continue uh, to uh, bring terror uh, to the Israeli uh, population. As you know, Abu Mazen uh, in September 29th uh, will approach the United Nations and uh, ask the United Nations to recognize so-called Palestine as a nation within Israel. As you know, in Resolution uh, 242 of the United Nations, uh, the name even Palestinians or Palestinian people were not even mentioned on Resolution 242. You can look it up and do a Google search on that. And even in Resolution 181. So as Abu Mazen approaches uh, the United Nations or, or his delegation approaches the United Nations September 29th, uh, we believe that many nations will come against Israel. As of now, uh, we know that China uh, has uh, said that they will vote on behalf of the so-called Palestinians and El Salvador uh, also has decided to vote on behalf. I'm surprised that a Latin American country has decided to vote on behalf of the uh, so-called uh, Palestinian resolution that will be tried and passed uh, September 29th. Um, and many other nations that will vote on behalf of the so-called Palestinian resolution uh, for them to become a nation within Israel, uh, I believe that uh, they're uh, uh, fading away and favoring the so-called Palestinian uh, so-called people. Uh, we're asking you to uh, pressure your leaders uh, across uh, your nations or across the world and to pressure them to tell and tell them uh, for them to vote against this resolution that will be tried and passed uh, by the United Nations resol uh, res resolution on September 29th. As we speak, you see all this land uh, right behind me. You'll see uh, it is uh, uh, inhabited by Arabs. And uh, uh, I hate to say this, but uh, many Arabs that are living here in Israel, they are against Israel, yet that they can work. Uh, they can uh, have properties and uh, uh, most of them, uh, if not all of them, actually they live a good life, yet many uh, so-called uh, UN watchdog, uh, 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 they say that uh, many of them are suffering and, you know, that's not the truth. You know, I live here in Israel and I can tell you that, that most of the uh, so-called Palestinians that live here in this country, they uh, live well off and most of them probably even well off as of uh, uh, of uh, Israelis, 44.9% uh, of of Jews uh, just living in Jerusalem are living uh, under the poverty level, and that was a study done by the Jerusalem Post. So I'm asking you, as uh, this uh, uh, September 29th come, I will believe that the nations will shake, uh, for they will forsake. Uh, not just Israel, but the God of Israel. If you take a good look at Psalms 83, uh, it is taking a place as we speak. And uh, I'm asking you to get in touch with all your leaders uh, of your nations and uh, pressure them into uh, uh, having them not vote in favor of this resolution. Uh, this is the latest news coming out of Jerusalem, Israel, and uh, Hamas has just called uh, for a so-called ceasefire. If you know anything about Islam and uh, the Quran, the Quran says that they can call it truce, but yet they just rearm themselves and start 
firing rockets towards the road, Ashkelon, Beersheba. And who knows, once they take over Judea and Samaria, the rockets will uh, rain down on Tel Aviv. Uh, so this is Uriel, LCP Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. And we need your support. If you'd like to support us, you can give to us via PayPal to Judah, J-U-D-A-H 92 at gmail.com. Or you can call me directly to Israel, 972-526357088. This is Uriel, LCP Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Shalom.